Alright, uh, hi guys. If you don't remember our names, I'm Nate Kirkbrand, and this is Nate. <laughs> <laughs>
to improve its fuel efficiency. And uh, most of the time, I was running tests in this test chamber here. Um, this is the van I drove. And um, so we have all of our equipment hooked up to it that's complicated and you don't need to uh, focus on. But um, the way we ran our tests, or I would be driving it, and you asked, how am I driving inside of the building? Um, when I drive, you can see that there are these rollers here. And so when I press on the gas, it spins the rollers and remain still. Um, and the roller spinning is what uh, we reported, and that gave us our data. Um, and so and there's um, some more of our controllers uh, just to help us figure out what, if what we're doing is actually improving the fuel economy. Um, so why, why do this? What do you think are some benefits of improving fuel economy of a car? So if you get a higher mile per gallon, what do you think is better about that? Better for the environment, very true. Cheaper. It's a lot cheaper. Um, so yeah, those are two really key ones. And uh, gasoline is, uh, I mean, fossil fuels, we don't have a lot of. And um, if we use less, then uh, we have longer that we'll actually be able to use that. So, um, you guys won't be focusing so much on um, that in the design project we're about to introduce to you. We're going to be focusing more on the physical aspects, so what it looks like um, of, your, of your project. And uh, two key things to think about um, are the aerodynamics and the weight. So for aerodynamics, um, how many of you guys have ever put your hand out the window while you were driving? Yeah, so what happens when your hand's like this? Yeah, it gets pushed back. And what about ones like this? Yeah, you can, you can do this crazy dolphin thing, right? <laughs> um, and that has to do with the aerodynamics. So that basically means the amount of air that's going to be hitting against something. And as you can see in the first one uh, and the second one, which do you think might be a little more aerodynamic? The, the small, sleek car or the big, foxy one? I think small and sleek. So this cool looking car is actually more dynamic as well. And something else to think about is how much the car weighs, like we saw with the example before. So this is one of those little smart cars. I don't know if you've seen them driving around, but they're tiny. And this is a huge suburban. You could probably fit two or three of these inside of that one. Um, so that has also has an impact on it. OK, so that brings us to our design challenge. Uh, we're going to be, you guys are going to be building a rubber band car. Um, and uh, first off, since how many of you have built a rubber band car before? I know what that is. OK, I didn't think so. So we're going to work together with the prototype to, um, to work through building your first one. So you can get the feeling and you don't have to uh, worry too much about whether or not it's going to work, because we've already tested it. And as you can see, we have a lovely prototype here that this one should be built. Thank you. 